Okay, from your Windows XP computer, go down to your wireless adapter configuration tool. Uh, I'm using right now AirLink wireless end adapter. You can use also Windows XP zero configuration tool. But for now, I'm just going to show you how to do it on the AirLink one. This is basically the same for also the Linksys one, not most popular in notebooks, and also on many other ones on Dell, HP, and stuff. Okay, they look something like this. So it should say like My Wireless Networks, or it says Create a New Network. Click on New or Add. From the menu, the window that pops up, type in profile name. I'm going to name this iPhone. Okay. Then type in the SSID. Then the network type, it can be different, but make sure it is AHOC. Okay. Leave the channel as it is, number six. Now the security option, leave it, um, you can put it as a security like WEP, WAPA. But I suggest leave it as none just to make sure that it works. You can change it later, okay? So just click OK. And the network has just been created, okay? So from here, download the, what's it called, Firefox from the Mozilla website. And go back to the iPhone right now. Okay, back to the iPhone. Now go to settings and search for your... AHOC network that you just created on your computer. Okay, make sure it's on. I selected from the list. Mine was iPhone, so I clicked on it. Now, click on the blue arrow, and from here, it's important that you note down the IP address. Forget about the subnet; you might need it later, but for right now, we don't need it. Absolutely no reason. Note down it. Make sure you have it on a piece of paper because that's what you can use it f to put it inside Firefox. One tip right now, okay? Make sure that you have at least one or two bars of 3G or Edge, and there's this little tiny wireless network when you connect to a thing. It doesn't say Edge, it doesn't th say 3G, but it has to say, see this little tiny Wi Fi network. If it doesn't, you have a problem. It's because there's a small glitch in iPhone software, which I found out a long time ago. It took me forever to find the resolution, but this is how you fix it. Go all the way back to settings. Make sure that you clicked on the network so you already connected it and it has a check mark already. Now just go back to settings and click on airplane mode. I'm not going to click on it right now. Turn it on. It should say green. It has a little tiny airplane in the corner. And then turn it back off. Just wait for 30 seconds. Then turn it back on off. Okay. Now it should wait. It'll say searching on the top right there. And then it'll say 3G, one bar, or edge, and it'll have a little tiny icon, and it should be fixed. Now I go back to home. Now this is where the secret happens. Go to terminal that you just created on your computer. Okay. Now from terminal, it should load up. And make sure that it says iPhone, not local host. Okay. If it does, then you have to reinstall your firmware. It is a glitch that WinPone and Ponage tool hasn't fixed so just reinstall it and you should fix it from there type in socks okay from socks once you're done typing it in just really quick you don't need to capitalize it or anything click return okay now the little tiny icon should be with the little tiny bar right there leave it as it is it looks like nothing happened but in actuality, it's running in background. So just click on the home button, and now you're back on the home screen. For now, leave it like it is, and we'll go back to the computer. Okay, from your desktop, select Mozilla Firefox and run the program. It should say address not found. So from the top of the menu, click on tools, and click on options. Then go on the top bars right here, click on settings, advanced, I mean, then from the top four bars, make sure that network is selected, and then click connection, configure how Firefox connects to the internet, right click this, I mean left click it, now go to manual proxy configuration right here, go all the way to the bottom where it says socks host, from there, the IP address that you remembered from the iPhone, type it in here. So type in the IP address.
Once you typed it in, make sure that the port number is 1080. Make sure it's 1080, not 1800. It doesn't matter about the no proxy, leave it like it is. Make sure that it socks V5 and click OK. Then after that, click OK also. And one last step is on the Euro bar on the top, type in about config. About colon config. Okay? It's a colon. So once you have selected it, click on enter. It should say, this might void your warranty. Click, I'll be careful, I promise. So then on the top right here where it says filter, type in socks. Once you type in socks, go all the way down to the bottom where it says network proxy remote DNS um, it should say false double click it to make sure that it's true that's what's true now once you're done with that go back to the iPhone okay the last step to do on your iPhone is click on Safari and load any web page it doesn't matter so just load anyone I'm just gonna load Google so while it loads, uh, you should see on the top bar right here where it's supposed to say 3G or Edge, you got replaced by the original wireless connection thing. Okay, Make sure that it had the original wireless thing or it will not work. It got replaced. The reason why is because when the iPhone looks for the Google website, it can't find a connection on the wireless network because it's an AHOC network. So it switches back to the 3G network. And as an advantage, what 3Proxy does is that it makes it so the iPhone and the wireless thing works seamlessly at the exact same time. So you, um, so you basically have the iPhone working on two networks at the same time, so it's like a little tiny tunnel. The only problem with this is that the battery dies almost instantaneously. It dies in less than an hour, and I'm not joking. Okay, so make sure you have it connected to the thing because it will die instantly and if you are going to use this on the road you better use it only for five or ten minutes because the battery will be almost a quarter empty okay even on full charge so let's go back to the computer okay the last step that you have to do right now is from the URL address type in any address so I'm going to type in Google for instance so let's type in Google and it should load up at 3G speeds. Bada bing bada boom. There it is. So, I'll give you an example. I'm going to load up uh, YouTube. So, let's see how fast. Whoa, dang, that's fast. Okay, it loads up really fast. <laughs> so, as you can see, it completely works. And But there is one limit. I suggest you guys monitor how much you guys download per month, okay? Because, as ATT says, there's supposed to be an unlimited cap. But there is actually a cap. It is 5 gigabytes per month. I'm not joking. I did this before and I've had almost uh, $1,000 in overdue charges because of I went over 5 gigabytes. Okay, so please do not let it happen to you. What I suggest you do is you download a free program. It's called DU Monitor. Okay, you can see right here DU Monitor. It's a cool monitoring site. When you click it, it completely loads up in a little tiny sidebar, and it does it without bothering you, okay? Basically, what it does is that it monitors how much you download per month. So, make, sh uh, make sure it doesn't go over 5 gigabytes, and as an advantage, you can put it an alert. So, if it goes over 4 gigabytes or 5 gigabytes, it automatically stops the traffic so you don't go over, and you don't pay outrageous funds, okay? So that's one little tiny handy tip I want to mention, guys. So just go um, and have fun on the internet at 3G speeds. This is MrIPhoneHack.com signing off, and thanks for watching.